Hey everybody, today we're gonna go over the top five suburbs of Chicago. These are in the western suburbs in the next county over called DuPage County. According to niche.com, these are the five most desirable towns or cities in DuPage and you're just a hop, skip and a jump to Chicago. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kenny Naslin. I'm a real estate agent here in Illinois, primarily serving DuPage County, the western suburbs of Chicago, and Chicago itself. If you have any questions, let me know. All my information is in the description below. Let's get into it. According to niche.com, Naperville is number one on the list. Naperville is unique. It is a big city. It is about 50 minutes away from downtown Chicago, whether you're driving or you're taking the train. Naperville has two different train stations for your convenience and it is a really nice sized city where it's walkable, there's a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of nightlife, There's it, it's just a great location to be at. You'll have fun, it's family friendly. It is one of the larger areas of the ones that we're gonna be talking about today. Population is roughly 150,000 people in Naperville. Now Naperville does have two award-winning school districts, not only in Illinois, but against across the entire nation. That's District 203 and that's District 204, which draws a lot of families here. Now, Naperville has a robust downtown. It is full of restaurants and nightlife, and it has a beautiful river walk that you can walk around and really get a nice, relaxing, calm walk if you're looking to de-stress, decompress, or if you wanna go shop, you wanna go eat, you got all of that all in one place, so you can't go wrong. It's great for families, it's great for individuals, it serves everybody and everyone in the area. Now besides the downtown area, Naperville has a lot to offer. It has parks, it has walk trails, it has a lot of grocery stores and a lot of ethnic and diverse grocery stores. And of course you have the mall. So downtown's great and then the surrounding area is amazing. The number of parks I personally been to, I like them. They're great, there's nature trails. You really can't go wrong. And now because of all this, it's gonna cost a premium to live in Naperville. It is highly desired and it, for that reason, because of all the amenities it offers, and the median household price here is $565,000. Now there's some that are more expensive and a lot more expensive if you're getting closer downtown. And of course there's a less expensive, but if you're kind of looking at where the price is gonna be, you're at about $565,000. So with a great downtown, top tier schools, a lot of amenities and features in the area, and you're close to Chicago, Naperville should definitely be on your list to check out. The second suburb on our list is Clarendon Hills. It is a much, much smaller suburb compared to Naperville. As a matter of fact, the population is around 8,700 people in comparison to Naperville, 150,000 people. But if you're looking a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more quaint, not such hustle and bustle like Naperville offers, Clarendon Hill is another great option. It's about 40 minutes away from downtown Chicago. Now the downtown isn't really that big, it's fairly small. You have coffee shops, you have some restaurants, it's walkable, so it's it, you still have a downtown feel. It's not as big as Naperville, but you'll kind of find the things that are you still looking for. School districts are great. Whether it's from grammar school all the way through high school, Clarendon Hill has top rated schools according to niche.com. And because it is a smaller town and it's close to Naperville and surrounding areas, it does bleed into other school districts. All of them come with a rating anywhere from A to A plus according to niche.com. Household price here is $607,500. Yes, it is more expensive than Naperville. And yes, of course you're gonna find prices higher and you're gonna find prices lower, but that's kind of where you're gonna be looking at if you're looking for a house here in Clarendon Hills. And moving on to number three, Hinsdale, Illinois. It is a beautiful town, actually village, that's 30 minutes away from downtown Chicago. One thing about Hinsdale, it has a historic downtown. It is on the National Registry for Historic Places, and it is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous, it, it's very unique, and it has all the shops and stores and coffee shops and restaurants, all the things that you're gonna like with a tremendous amount of charm. Hinsdale schools are no exception like Naperville or Clarendon Hill. Schools here are rated from A to A plus, according to niche.com, anywhere from grammar all the way through high school. So a lot of families tend to flock to Hinsdale because of its proximity to the city and also the school districts. Hinsdale has sticker shock. 
houses here for the median household cost is $1.15 million. That is a ton of money to buy a home in the area. Now, Naperville and Clarendon Hills are a lot more palatable in price compared to Hinsdale. But I'll say the homes do not disappoint when you're driving down. You will notice that they are very beautiful. That's what the market commands because you're close to Chicago. Now some of the amenities here in Hinsdale, outside of the gorgeous and historic downtown, you have, a, you have great parks, community pool, you have a golf course and a country club. Those are just to name a few. Population is a little bit bigger than Clarendon Hills. It's a, a, a little over 17,000 people. But overall, Hinsdale is a quaint, beautiful little village. If you're moving to the area, Hensdale should definitely be on your list. It will not disappoint. Moving on to number four is Lyle. Lyle is 30 minutes from downtown Chicago. It has a population of a little over 23,000 people. Lyle offers a walkable downtown that has an award-winning prairie walk pond that is four and a half acres, which offers a lit walking trail surrounded by a two acre pond. It's absolutely beautiful and one of those things you definitely wanna check out. Now, Lyle schools, are no different. They're highly rated and according to niche.com they go from A to A plus across the board and that's from grammar to high school. Now one thing about Lyle is the median household price is much more significantly affordable in comparison to the other places. It's $340,500 for the median price here but $340 is a pretty good sweet spot in comparison to the other places especially like Hinsdale where we're talking a little over a million dollars the, a lot of families like to flock out here because you're putting your kids in premium schools. The schools also bleed into other neighborhoods because it is a smaller town. So for example, Lyle school districts go into the Naperville schools. So you're saving a lot of money. You're not spending over $500,000 to move to Naperville, but your kids could be going into those schools. There are other schools too, but that's just an example. So you're really getting a lot for your money for the price. From parks to museums to the Garden Walk, a beautiful downtown and a French market during the summer months, Lyle does not disappoint. You want to make sure that this place is on your radar to check out. Next on our list, coming at number five, is Elmhurst. Elmhurst is unique. It has a lot to offer. Now, Elmhurst is 25 minutes away from the city, so it's closer than all the other places that we discussed earlier. It has a population of nearly 46,000 people, so it's not really big, but it's also not really small. One of the main things about Elmhurst, it offers a robust and big downtown. It has a lot of things to offer, whether like the other ones, restaurants, coffee shops, stores, boutique places, things for kids. It also has fitness and it's very close to parks. It, it really has a lot to offer in the downtown area. If you want to be kind of in a congested area or you just want to take a 10 minute walk and you're in and the parks and you're just kind of enjoying a nice quaint and quiet environment. Now, the schools here are no different than the other ones we talked about. They're award-winning schools according to niche.com. You can be in a suburb that's extremely close to, to the city and then you could go right into the city without having to worry about all the traffic and congestion. And it, It's just as if it was part of the city or an extension of it, if you will. Now, you'll be surprised. The median household cost here is 525,000. As we talked about earlier, you can go price up or you can go price down, but that's kind of where you're at. So for that price to be that close to this city and have a lot of the amenities that Elmhurst has to offer, it pulls a lot of people here. Whether you enjoy a symphony orchestra, a history museum, pool, parks, skate park, bike paths, trails, Elmhurst has it all. If you like all that and you like a bustling downtown, Elmhurst should definitely be on your list to check out. And make sure to check out the pros and cons video of Naperville, Illinois. If you've gotten any value out of this video so far, would you hit the like and subscribe button? It helps me know that I'm making valuable content for you. And if there's areas that you want me to go over, make sure to let me know.